Hi everyone, so we're carrying on with um, the second lesson of differentiation. So we're on finding tangents, normals and stationary points. So it's all the same idea. It's the stuff we did before when we had x cubed, x squared or x cubed. It's exactly the same. Right then, so it says find the equation of a tangent. If you look at this bit here, it's a chain rule thing. Now if you remember with the chain rule, it's a function within a function. It's a second function in that bracket. So I'm going to use the chain rule on it. It's a little bit more messy because that's a, a 3x to the power of half minus 2. So if I differentiate that bit, that becomes a 3 over 2x to the power minus a half. So that's the bit inside the bracket. Then I deal with the bracket. So I've got a bracket squared, which I differentiate, so it becomes two lots of the bracket to the power one. So I don't really need that, do I guess? That power one. But then don't forget about this x cubed, because that's just there. So that's a 3x squared there. Now then, it's always nice to tidy it up a little bit, and if you look, the twos cancel. So my dy by dx is 3x to the minus a half, 3x to the half minus 2 plus 3x squared. Now I could actually just sub in like that, or I could expand the brackets out and see what I get. Um, it's entirely up to you, really. <coughs> Because the 3x to the minus a half times 3x to the half will give me 3x to the nothing, which is 1. And then, I'd have, and then the 3s would be a 9. Uh, and then I'd have like a minus 6x to the minus a half. But it's up to you. You can, you can do that if you want. Right, so I want the equation of the tangent. So I've done my dy by dx. So I need to find the gradient of the tangent now. So when x is 4 dy by dx is and if you stick that in your calculator exactly how you see it it gives you 54 um, 54 there. if I find y now so I've got the gradient of the tangent or the coordinate this is my plan. So I've got y is 3 lots of root 4, so that's going to be 6, minus 2 is 4, all squared is 16 for that bit, plus 4 cubed, uh, 16, 64, 80. So I'm going to use m is 54 and 4 comma 80. And then I'll put that in the y minus y1. If it's a normal, I'd have to flip it and change the sign on the equation. So y minus 80 is 54x minus 4. If they don't ask you, we'll leave it as it is. If not, then rearrange it. There, that'll do us. So that's a tangent one. So we've got stationary points. So that's Finding dy by dx and then putting it equal to zero, isn't it? So remember with logs, you differentiate the bracket over the bracket. So you just have to remember these. Differentiate the bracket over the bracket. f dashed of x over f of x. So if I differentiate it, so x cubed becomes a 3x squared. Minus 3x squared becomes minus 6x plus 3x becomes 3, and that's all over the original, x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x. There. Please do not do any crazy cancelling out. The amount of people who would cancel the 3x squared out is shocking. Right, so I'm going to find the stationary point. So that's when dy by dx is 0. 
So I've got, I'm going to do this little bit here. So I've got 3x squared minus 6x plus 3 over x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x is 0. I like to put brackets on the bottom of the there's no confusion. Now what I'm going to do is, it's a bit sneaky this, and there's a lot more to it actually. Um, I'm going to move that up there and times it by 0 so it disappears. There's actually more to it. If I want something which is a stationary point, which is parallel to the x-axis, I put the top line equal to zero, because there is no change in y on the gradient. If I wanted it where it was vertical, and when we do this next year with some really tough equations, I actually put the bottom line equal to zero, because there is no change in x. So I'm working on the idea that differentiation at the most basic level is a change in y over a change in x. But we'll just stick with this for now. Just take the bottom line up and it disappears. But there's more to it in real life. Right then, so if I stick that into poly, hang on, uh, I think this is, oh, I need to move to the calculator, hang on. Hello, me again. So this gives me x equals one, but it gives it me twice. <coughs> there. Right, so I'll find the stationary point. So I've got x is 1. So if I sub that in to the equation, so I've got y equals 1, so I've got coordinates, really. And it should say coordinates, shouldn't it? It should be clearer. So I've got 1 cubed, which is 1, minus 3, lots of 1 squared. So that's 1 take 3 is minus 2. Then add on 3 gives me the log of 1. Now we all know, because a log graph looks like that, the log of 1 is 0. So the coordinate of the stationary point is 1, 0. Yeah. Let's see if I can fit in this, uh, this example 3. Um, do you know what? I might... Oh, God, I'm lucky for you. So find the exact coordinates and the nature of it. So I'm going to do a quick differentiate. Uh, so I've got dy by dx is, so log x is 1 over x, 8 log x will be 8 lots of 1 over x, so 8 over x minus 2x. So I want the stationary points, so I've got 8 over x minus 2x is 0, so I've got 8 over x is 2x. Uh, divide by 2 times by x gives me 4 is x squared plus or minus 2 is an x value. Right, okay, so then I want the coordinates, don't I? So if I do the coords, being fast here with the time, so if x is minus 2, that's my equation, um, I have y as 8 log of minus 2 minus minus 2 squared. But remember that log graph? I can't have a negative. So this one has no value. So there's nothing when the x is minus 2. It's not even in it. So then I've got 8 log 2 minus 2 squared. So my y value is 8 log 2 minus 4. And that's fine that. I keep that. It's, it's not, I don't make it into a, a decimal. So that's 8 log 2 minus 4. Right then, so for the nature, differentiate it again. So I had, for dy by dx, I had it as 8x to the minus 1, because it's 8 over x, minus 2x, didn't I? Uh, so if I differentiate it again, it's minus 8x to the minus 2, minus 2. So when x is 2, that gives me d2y by dx squared. I'm really, really running out of time doing this question. Uh, it gives me minus 4. So d2y by dx squared less than 0. Therefore, max, max, not mat, max at, uh, putting the t in the wrong place, uh, x is 2. Boom. There you go. Finish that one.